Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome back to Green River. This is episode number 21 and I teased you all last week, sort of at the uh, end of last week, maybe around episode 19 or 20, that um, today's episode would kind of have a special announcement to it, uh, kind of be a little bit of a special episode for us and it certainly is and I'm going to tell you what that is here just in a moment. Let me go ahead and get our sheep uh, fed here with a little bit of hay because we want to do this um, today before we get started with some of our other chores today. And let's see, I guess, I'm guess i guessing that it's not going to take that bell, so that's not a problem. Let's just go ahead and see if our cows will take it. And I think before we get going too far here, I'm going to just do this just because, well, you guys know I cannot pass this up at all by walking over and giving our cows, our sheep, our pigs uh, water. Water was always such a chore for me uh, on other maps because it generally involved, uh, basically generally involved having to grab the water trailer and well if I didn't, if I wasn't uh, disciplined enough to actually fill it up uh, after I finished using it which was kind of the process that I had always wanted to try to get into uh, was obviously filling it up before uh, putting it away in the evening or after its uh, initial use then obviously you've got to fill it up so uh, I just absolutely love the water trough mod and uh, had a lot of questions about uh, that mod and I don't really know why we're driving all the way over here because this tractor actually goes in the other barn so my apologies for this um, it has been a few days since I've actually played Farm Sim 17. Uh, there was a brand new uh, aircraft released for um, uh, for P3D um, last week, and I, when I say last week, I mean the week before Memorial Day weekend here in the U.S. It was the uh, the Boeing 787, the Dreamliner, um, awesome and very uh, highly anticipated uh, aircraft. And so it was finally released for prepared version 4. And I have spent uh, just a little bit of time enjoying that and playing that. And um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing. All right, so uh, without further ado, we are going to make Duck Zorley uh, happy with, um, our, uh, with our work today. We are going to use the Big M. And it is a bit dirty, but we uh, used that uh, previous and just didn't bother cleaning it up. We'll clean her up before we get ready to stow her for, uh, for basically the, uh, the winter time and everything. But uh, so what today? What is all special about this episode? Episode number 21 of Green River. Well, basically nothing is special about this particular episode. Um, don't tune out. We're going to do farm sim stuff and we're going to have fun just like we always do. Uh, but there's not much as far as this episode is concerned. But this episode, with the other 499 that I have uh, recorded and put out on my channel, totals 500 videos. So this is my 500th, my 500, 500th video that I have recorded and uploaded onto my channel in the last, what, two and a half years or so. Um, so I don't know... Um, if that's a good, uh, if that's a good number, if it's uh, if it's a bad number, I uh, don't really know. But this is number 500, and I've got to say that I am very appreciative to each and every one of you all, my wonderful listeners, to um, to basically um, watch my videos, watch my content. I don't know if there's anyone out there. Let's see, how do we op oh, open the cover within? We're going to go ahead and widespread this and let me make sure did that open or did it close it opened it okay that's what we want we want to widespread this stuff so we're going to turn her on and um, widespread our our grass there we go so um yeah so this is number 500 i don't know if anyone is out there that could say that i've listened or watched uh, all 500 because i know a lot of folks listen to my videos uh, because, quite honestly, I suppose um, my videos are very much like uh, like a podcast in a sense because I talk about a whole lot of different things and uh, kind of while I am doing the work that obviously needs to be done. And most of the folks that are going to watch this channel, 
you guys are playing Farm Sim 17 or Farm Sim 15, uh, you're probably not watching this, especially you're not watching this religiously, um, if you're probably not playing this game. So, because a lot of you do these same kind of things, a lot of you are playing the exact same maps that I'm playing, and I think that's just very cool uh, that you guys um, play the maps along along with me, and uh, you guys are doing different, uh, different scenarios, or the same scenarios, or whatever the case might be. But anyway... I don't know if anyone out there could say that they've watched all 500 of my videos. If you have, um, I will maybe apologize or I will say thank you. Uh, one of the two. I, I, I don't know. But um, anyway, I, I appreciate all of you for being such wonderful uh, listeners, viewers of my channel. Um, you're, all, you're all friends. Uh, many of you I, I know a little better than the rest of you. But that still doesn't say that um, that you're you're not my friends. If you have questions, if you have um, problems or challenges that you're trying to work through on your virtual farm, I would be more than willing to try to help you uh, get the most out of your farm sim 17. That's really why I do this. That is absolutely why um, I play this game. It's why I well, it's not why I play the game, but it's why I record my content. So uh, because I enjoy helping people. And I enjoy helping folks get the most out of their uh, virtual farming experience. So yeah, so this is number 500, and I really could not be uh, any more excited. And I'm looking forward to the next, you know, the next 100, the next 250, and yes, dare I say, uh, the next 500 videos here on the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel. So that is uh, really, really cool. I would have to say if I were asked, you know, what I thought the percentage was between, you know, farm sim versus other content, I, I believe it's very safe to say that uh, we're probably looking at at over 80% of my content has been farm sim related, either, f <coughs> excuse me, either farm sim 15 um, or farm sim 17. So, and of course, I'm looking very much forward to Farm Sim 19, just like each and every one of you all are, and just literally counting, well, I'm not going to say I'm counting the, the days just yet, because we've got a whole lot of, uh, we've got a whole lot of days that we need to get through, and I need to scoot over just a little bit there, don't I? Uh, we've got a whole lot of days that we need to get through, um, so I suppose we should probably go easy on ourselves and just say, let's count the months. Uh, right now and then as we get down maybe get through summer for those of us here in the northern hemisphere as we get through the summer months the dog days of summer and everything then we can say that uh, let's start counting maybe the weeks and then at some point um, we can proudly say we're counting the days until farm sim uh, 19 releases and I am just so so excited about that that uh, I can I can hardly wait, but but I will have to wait. Obviously, we all will have to wait. Um, and um, but you know, good things come to those who wait. And there's a lot of good things uh, on the horizon, um, not only for you know farm sim uh, fans and enthusiasts and everything. If you're if you're into flight sim like I am, in addition to everything else, there's some really cool things that are on the horizon for that. And, uh, I'm sure that uh, obviously SCS is working on uh, their new state, Oregon, and all sorts of changes and everything coming our way for all of our uh, interesting games that we enjoy playing and uh, whatnot. So life is uh, life is pretty good to be a uh, to be a gamer, especially a simulation-based uh, gamer like like myself and so many others. It's really the only kind of game that I that I play. All right, so um, again, last week or maybe the week before, I, I've kind of uh, I've kind of run out of, uh, or I've kind of let dates and everything kind of run together. Um, but I was telling you about my brand new second cousin that I sort of found out about uh, through Ancestry DNA. Just wanted to find, just wanted to provide a very brief update because I know some of you. I've heard from many of you after watching. Uh, that video, which I think must have aired today, and today is Tuesday, the 29th of, of May, so uh, just after the Memorial Day weekend for me uh, here. Um, so I think that was the video that must have dropped today, um, or maybe perhaps yesterday, Memorial Day. But anyway, uh, many of you have um, 
either left a comment or contacted me on just discord basically saying that you know hey you two uh, have uh, done the ancestry dna and have had you know interesting results and all this kind of stuff i just wanted to provide a very quick update and then i'll get on to some of the other things that i want to talk about today um, but essentially um, he and i have been talking um, via email and on the phone a little bit not a whole lot because i'm kind of not a really not a talk on the phone kind of guy but um, anyway um, that's funny because I, I certainly uh, talk a lot here on YouTube but in any event I'm really not a talk on the phone kind of guy um, but uh, we have been talking and so he is um, still a little bit um, in two minds as to what he wants to do and how he wants to go about it uh, he did find out that his birth mom is and not in the best of health, so he has some concerns about, you know, popping the news and everything on her. Uh, he has uh, since reached out to his um, his birth sister, uh, and um, which was kind of a surprise to me. I wasn't uh, aware that he was going to do that, uh, but he did do that. And of course, she is a little bit in denial, uh, as um, one might could sort of understand because you know she did not know that uh, she did not know that he existed so um, but don't know if she's willing to do the ancestry DNA or not uh, I think he was going to ask her and so as I get more information I realize that this this really this topic has nothing to do with uh, farm sim and, and not a lot of uh, stuff that is going on um, with the, the simulation community and everything but since I shared it all a few episodes ago I thought I will, will at least keep you updated on um, the progress of it and if there's anything that uh, does come about I will certainly let you know so I hope everyone had a very safe uh, relaxing and memorial uh, memorable Memorial Day weekend um, you know Memorial Day is uh, a very solemn time for us. It's very similar, I believe, to Remembrance Day and such that uh, is celebrated, I think, maybe in the UK and Europe, uh, places like that. And it's a very solemn time uh, for us because, you know, we, we use this holiday to sort of give thanks and, and, and remember and, and memorialize and everything those who those of our service members who pay the ultimate price, and of course I'm talking about, uh, you know, died in the service um, uh, of, uh, to their country. And um, for, for me and my wife, uh, Memorial Day weekend um, was, I would say, was very nice, uh, except for Saturday. Uh, Saturday was uh, a little bit of, um, well, it was chaotic, let me just put it that way. So. Um, I try to do as much DIY, I try to do as much home improvement stuff as I possibly can around the house, and, and I've, I've shared many of my trials and tribulations with you all. Uh, you all have uh, were a part of almost every step um, through my verbal update process of the work that uh, we did in doing the, t the, the fireplace, the tile around the fireplace and also the entrance hallway tile job that we did back um, soon after the first of the year. And um, so as you know, I do try to do my own repairs and stuff. And, you know, mainly I do it because I enjoy doing it. But secondly, um, I have the skills to do most uh, of these types of projects. Um, you know, oddly enough, I've talked about this as well, sort of maybe at nauseam. Uh, for some of you, but you know, I did take classes and stuff in high school and, and whatnot. Plus, I was always a very inquisitive uh, little boy, I suppose, and uh, followed my dad around pretty much everywhere he went, or my grandfather uh, followed them around everywhere they pretty much went. And I was always eager to learn. I was always eager to, to basically try something different, learn something different, and, um, and everything. And so, with that said, uh, again, I have a, a pretty vast um, skill in a lot of different things that we need to do around the house. And so the weekend before Memorial Day weekend, as I was doing the laundry, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, the laundry is my chore. Uh, that is uh, a chore that I do uh, here in the house. And um, 
so as I was doing laundry, I noticed that the washing machine, which we have a uh, front-loading uh, washing machine, and it's located in the basement. It's located kind of just outside of my my office and the worldwide headquarters of the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel, um, jokingly. But um, so anyway, I, I was doing laundry, and I noticed that it was very slow in draining. Um, well, the machine was not slow in draining. The drain itself was slow in draining, and so a little bit overspilled. So I've had this problem occur before, and uh, essentially the fix is I basically take a water hose, I connect it to my hot water heater so I get super hot water, and I have a special little, well, for lack of a better description, it's a little balloon uh, type device that screws onto the end of the water hose, and it's about an inch and a half in diameter, so when you slip it into, say, a two-inch pipe, um, the pressure of the water causes the balloon to swell, and then it has a jet of water that rips through the middle of it. So if you've got a slow-moving drain, uh, especially if there's a, a bit of uh, water in the pipe itself, you put this in, crank the water on, especially if it's hot, this plat this rubber swells and, and performs or uh, forms a, uh, a seal so that it doesn't come out. And it's sort of like a plumber, it's a, or a plunger is what I'm looking for, uh, sort of like a liquid plunger. And so uh, this has done wonders in basically helping to keep this line uh, moving a little bit better. Well, um, so I did that and it basically it didn't work. So holy boy, uh, what am I going to do about this? So, um, once the, this was on Saturday of Memorial Day weekend, so once the wife woke up and everything, I pretty much went to Home Depot. That was the first trip to Home Depot that I made that particular day. And um, got, um, um, got a, had to buy a snake because I had one, but it was a very small one. And I sort of figured that, well, you know, I tried to use it before without a whole lot of success. And so I figured, okay, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to do something a little bit better. And I'm going to go with this, uh, this better snake. So that was the first trip to go by that. I come to come back home and, and essentially uh, get that thing um, out of the package. And I had to uh, open up the... I had to open up the clean out plug and everything and so I began commencing to try to do this and so I couldn't couldn't get it to um, couldn't get it to uh, couldn't get it to work and so um, let's go ahead and do in and close that up and then we'll close this up so um, I tell you what waste not want not let's just go ahead and get this cut right here and that way we can just tether the whole thing. So anyway, uh, got that done, and um, um, got back and started, uh, basically started trying to get the snake to unclog the drain. Didn't have much success. Well, because the sheetrock had gotten a bit wet, I decided, well, I was going to, um, I was going to basically pull a bit of that, and cut a hole in the sheetrock so that, you know, I could basically throw away the the sheetrock that got wet because you know I can do I can do drywall work uh, just fine so really didn't want to have to do that but you know it was better than uh, it being wet and everything and so uh, made another trip to Home Depot uh, for some more parts and some more things to try and everything well long story short I ended up cutting myself um, on the um, on the snake because it had a it had a jagged uh, it had kind of a jagged edge to it and as I was uh, coiling the snake back up or, or putting it kind of back in its in its thing as you crank it and everything I cut my hand I had you know basically water and sludge and everything from the uh, uh, from the drain all over my hands and I couldn't remember it probably had been 20 years or more since I had had a tetanus jab. And so, um, another trip to Home Depot to take the snake back because it broke. Uh, it was basically uh, poorly, poorly designed and everything. And um, and then by that time, I told the wife, I'm like, look, I'm I usually don't give in. I usually will 
will stay in the game and, and stay focused and, and make everything right. But I said, I'm checking out on this. I'm tagging out. Um, and so we called a plumber. I went to the emergency room to go get a tetanus shot because um, I guess because it was on a Saturday, uh, you really need to try to uh, get those things uh, done um, in a uh, very quickly, quick amount of time. Certainly don't want to, uh, to leave it uh, over the weekend until uh, Tuesday. So anyway, uh, I run to the ER, get the tetanus jab, uh, get back home. Uh, the plumber came about an hour and a half later, and essentially, you know, it would have required either me purchasing a very or renting a very expensive uh, rotor rooter type uh, tool because basically that's what it really needed. It needed a, a, a mechanical powered uh, apparatus to be in basically pretty good size at that to get in there and to um, to unclog all that sludge and everything. And so. Anyway, long story short, that is um, that's what what ended up happening, and we got all that done, and um, so I think all total with the you know and you've got to you got to account for your time, right? I mean, you, you have to if you don't account for your time, then you're yourself you're kind of selling yourself off or selling yourself short in a way, and so I figure that in the time that I wasted on Saturday holiday weekend when I could have been doing other things or you know other projects or hey you know, playing farm sim if that was something that I wanted to, to do that day um, I ended up doing all of this and and you know how much it cost to get the plumber to basically drag his heavy rotor rooter down to the basement and spend about 45 minutes or so of, of his time uh, his company's time doing this it was 88 dollars $88. I can tell you that my tetanus jab uh, cost me because insurance doesn't cover it when it's, uh, uh, well, I had to pay the, obviously I had to pay my deductible uh, with the, uh, with the uh, emergency room visit, but that was, uh, that was $75. So it almost cost me more in, well, it did. I, I think you probably could say, even though, even though Home Depot took the, the snake bag that I bought, um, the wasted the wasted gas to drive from my house to Home Depot, which is only about six miles round trip, but still um, doing that three times, um, I easily spent more money on it than uh, than was necessary. So that was more or less how I spent my Saturday of Memorial Day weekend. How did you spend yours? Hopefully, uh, hopefully doing something a little more enjoyable, a little more interesting, and such than I did. And um, did you have, uh, how was the weather in your neck of the woods and all that good kind of stuff? We had perfect weather on Saturday. It was nice and warm, actually. It's kind of too warm on Saturday. Um, pretty much the same could be said for Sunday. Now, yesterday, Monday, actually Memorial Day proper, it was quite cool, uh, very overcast most of the day. I uh, had a thunderstorm that came through last night just as I was out in the courtyard um, cooking dinner. I made my wife and I some fish and shrimp and, and stuff. So I was out there with one hand holding a large golf umbrella and in the other hand the spatula and the tongs and everything. And so uh, keeping the hell off my head and, and the rain and, and just kind of dodging, i uh, go out for a little bit and turn the meat and everything really quick and then there'd be a clap of thunder and, uh, and then I would get back inside. But Anyway, all that is uh, is all done and dusted, as they say, and um, so we're looking forward to our next holiday now, and that is, of course, the uh, Fourth of July uh, holiday. I think the fourth is on a um, so I think it's the middle of the week, I believe. Um, mine and my wife's uh, wedding anniversary is the first of July, so I'm not sure where that falls in the week, but we almost always take our anniversary off and let me think how many years it's been I should probably know this um, 11 11 years we were married in 2007 so 11 years time flies when you're having fun speaking of fun having fun here um, in this episode so this is uh, episode number 21 as I mentioned at the top of the show 
Um, we are in the second game day of summer, so I don't, I, I've already forgotten how many game days we got out of the first game day of summer. I'm thinking one or maybe two. Um, so we're going to probably have two game days out of this game day because I think that uh, we'll come around uh, behind this uh, video and, um, and go ahead and do our uh, raking and go ahead and bell this because we do have rain in the forecast. Uh, don't know when it will start, but we certainly want to get this hay uh, belled and put away uh, before the rain starts because if you're playing with the Seasons mod, and hopefully you are because it does add a, a lot of immersion and a lot of uh, scope and everything to your gameplay, if you are playing with the Seasons mod, just remember, uh, rain will cause um, a loss of, of materials. So if you have straw in the field or if you have grass or hay, uh, you will lose a, a part of that if it rains. You will also lose a part of your uh, grass and or straw um, if you leave it out on the field after midnight. Now, I've talked about that and I'll try not to uh, spend too much time on it, but you know, I wish that the Seasons mod team would or could revise that, um, whereas we could maybe simulate uh, a little bit more proper uh, hay, uh, hay etiquette, uh, that's funny, uh, hay etiquette in the fact that, you know, we, we know, we know it takes more than one day to produce hay. Um, cut, uh, cut one day, and if you're lucky and that day is good and hot and everything, then you'd come back over uh, the next day and you would tether that and, uh, and let that set out and bake again in the sun and dry out and everything and then you come along and, and rake it and bale it and everything and so um, but hey we will just kind of simulate as if our you know the time between episode 21 and 22 is a little bit more time than you know what has actually transpired so again as I tend to play um, the game, I don't get hung up on the necessary upper right hand corner as far as game days. That really um, has no bearing uh, for me in that sense. It's just a, it's just a number. It's just something that basically lets us know uh, kind of where we are in the course. Because hey, we're playing nine game days uh, per per season, so that really in theory equals what is that? Ten. Um, 10, 10 days or 10 game days, um, you know, per kind of, well, per month, I suppose, if we wanted to look at that um, in a real time, whatever. I've confused you because I'm confused. But anyway, I think you, I think you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, uh, looking over at the clock, we are at about 27 minutes. So I will start wrapping things up and just let you all know how much I appreciate you watching my videos. I do. I uh, hope that um, you all are having a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, I suppose that at least if you are, uh, if you have kids or if you are a young person that's watching my channel, and if you are, welcome. I'm glad to have you on board. Uh, I'm guessing that summer is, uh, you know, Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer, so school is either out or it's very close to being out. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful summer. Um, I will tell you this, and if you will take advice from a uh, middle-aged um, individual, uh, 50, 52 years uh, young this October I will be, uh, but I think I still know a thing or two or three, um, don't waste your summer uh, sleeping late and uh, laying on the sofa or sitting at your desk playing farm sim, even though I know that that's going to be uh, like the pot calling the kettle black, so to speak. But um, to get out and do things, um, enjoy your summer vacation because let me tell you, especially if you are in the upper years of your high school or if you are in college, when summer is gone and college is gone, then there is no more summer breaks. There is no more uh, nearly three months or 90 days of, of, of time that you don't that you can just kind of do whatever you want to do. Take advantage of that now. Once you, once unless you go into teaching, um, there's going to be no more summer break. So just keep that in mind. 
go out, live life, um, live it full. Certainly enjoy playing farm sim, flight sim, truck sim, whatever else you might enjoy playing. That is certainly uh, fair for you to do, and, and I hope you will get some, an opportunity to spend uh, time doing that. But don't uh, don't spend all the three months of your summer vacation uh, sitting behind a computer or laying on the couch or sleeping until until uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. Get out, do some things, do some things for your parents. Um, you know, mow the yard, clean the swimming pool, do some of those good, honest, uh, hardworking type chores, and um, enjoy enjoy your summer. And for the rest of you, um, enjoy your summer. Or if you're in the in the southern hemisphere, enjoy your upcoming winter and everything. But hey, I will return for another episode very very soon on the Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel. Now, I'm. I can tell you that you will watch this episode on Monday the 11th of June, but I'm not sure how many episodes you're going to get this this particular week, the week of the 11th, and also the week following. Because of the sort of the disaster on Saturday that kind of put me in a little bit of an awkward mood that quite honestly I just kind of got over today once I got back into the schedule of work and the office and I sort of said to my wife, I need to go downstairs and do some farming. I need to kind of, I need to kind of vegetate for a little bit, and of course talk to you all um, through the magic of YouTube. But I do, I am traveling soon, and because of the whole fiasco on Saturday, which I had kind of hoped that I would have a little bit of time to do some recording and stuff to, to continue to keep my uh, my backlog going for that week when I'm going to be out uh, on business. Uh, I don't know how many videos you will see. Just bear with me, and we'll try to get to some kind of um, some kind of schedule or something at some point in time. But you know, I know that you all have so many other channels and everything that you watch. So if you get if you get two videos or three videos or four videos uh, from me a week, I know you're I know you're happy, and I know you're content, and I know you first of all, uh, and most importantly, I know you understand. So. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being my friend. Take good care of yourselves and also take good care of each other. Go out, check out those other two uh, partners in crime of mine. That's Doug Zorley and Eustace Farmer's uh, channel. Hang out on our Discord server over at the Simulation Gaming Society. All the links and everything that you need are located down below. I'm going to continue to do this off camera. And then we will come back for uh, episode number 22, where we will most likely rake this and then go ahead and bail it and, um, and then figure out other things that we need to do for the rest of the summer because um, we're going to be very soon having all of our fields up to uh, full uh, fertilization capacity and all that good stuff. So we've been working hard and uh, it's all going to pay off, I do believe. Talk to you very soon. Good night. Goodbye.